But you guys got another video here for you on how to download and install Office 2021 from Microsoft account. Now, many people will sometimes format their PC and they'll go and install Windows again. And all of a sudden they've lost their installation media for Office. And the way you can get this is by signing into your Microsoft account. And this will hopefully give you access to the download files that you need to be able to reinstall it. If you've set up two-factor authentication here, you can then send a notification to your phone and you'll see it right here. I've blurred mine out, but there'll be a notification there. You can then tie that in to what's here and it will then sign you straight into your account. So you can say here, stay signed in. I'm gonna say yes here. This will open up your Microsoft account. You can see I'm in my Microsoft account here. And what you're looking for here inside your Microsoft account is your services and subscriptions. Inside here, you're going to see all of the products that you've purchased and linked and synced to your Microsoft account. You can see that I have Office Professional Plus 2021 right here. And this is when I purchased it. And it is linked and synced to my Microsoft account. This means that anytime I need to install this, I can just click on the install button. This will let me choose my language and then also allow me to choose a version which I want to download. So let me show you the procedure that I do when I wipe my system. First off, you need to choose your language. There's many to choose from. I'm using English. Then we can choose the version. So here we have 32-bit, 64-bit, and there's an offline installer. And this is going to be the ISO file. If you wanted to download the ISO file and keep that safe and use it on Ventoy, or you can create some sort of bootable media where you can install it that way. If this is if you wanted to download the ISO file, but they do actually offer the installation media right here. So you can see, click install again. You would then see there is a drop down here. We can now see Office Professional Plus 2021 32-bit and 64-bit or we can just get the default version and download it. This will just be a small file that we can click on, and this will pull all the files off the uh, Microsoft server and install them onto your computer. And this is exactly the way that I normally do it. So let's go ahead and have a look here. So we already downloaded the file here. We've got the little file that I've just clicked on. Now it says, please stay online while Microsoft 365 and Office downloads. And this is basically what it's going to download and install on my computer. So this is how you would go about uh, downloading the installation media for your Office suite. This will only work if you have your Office synced to your Microsoft account. Once it's finished, it will say sign in to get started with Outlook. I'm going to be uh, setting up Outlook on here and it will say sign in or create a new account or you can skip for now or you can use a product key that you have if you have a retail version. You can see here, I have a product key and you can put your product key in and this will activate automatically. They're asking you to sign up here for their uh, Microsoft Office 365 here. I'm not gonna bother doing that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna skip that part and we're just gonna continue with our installation. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just click on, I have a product key right here and this will now basically give me my email address that I need to put in here to set up my email account. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in and push connect. It's adding my email address to my account and this will ask me what other setup that I want to use. So this is your advanced setup, Microsoft uh, 365, Outlook.com or I'm going to go for IMAP um, account settings here because that's what I've been using. And I'm gonna put in my password for my mail account. This is important that you use the right password for your mail account, otherwise the emails are not gonna be able to be sent or received to your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in here. And my one's quite a difficult, complex one, so that's why I'm taking my time punching it in, because you wanna make sure that you have a real strong password. Once we've done that, we can click Connect. This will go off and get things ready. And you can see now that it is now actually found the account and it's going to set this up for us. You can set this up for your mobile phone as well. So you can receive mail 
through your phone and view mail through your phone. I'm going to click done. And once this is done, it's going to ask me for my product key because that's the version I said I wanted to use. But you don't need to use a product key if you don't want to. This is if you had a product key. So I'm going to accept their terms conditions, click close. And now once we're here, you can see product notice. It's sending me that we are not activated and we need to activate this version right here. So this is how you're going to basically activate it. So I'm going to click activate here and it's going to ask you to sign in or create an account or you have a product key. So I'm going to sign into my account because that is where my key and my details are stored. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my details here one more time and we're going to then click next and this will take us to the next screen. And it's going to ask us to do that phone uh, thing again. So let me go ahead and skip that part and we can then move on to the next step. Now, during the activation, it may ask you what device you want to uh, sync this account to. If the desktop or laptop uh, name or computer name is exactly the same in the list, then it will activate straight away. If it's an old computer, you need to remove that device from your accounts if it's not in use anymore and you need to unlink it from your account here by clicking on this button here. If the activation is recommending a device that you already have in this list and it's on the list of the activation, then just select it and activate and it should be fine. But try not to activate anything that is different to the computer that you're using. If you go into the system and about page, it will tell you what the computer name is right here and it needs to be exactly the same as the one on your Microsoft account. If it's not, then you need to sync it to your account. That way the activation will go through perfectly fine. Just make sure you remove any old devices from the Microsoft account that you're not using anymore or you had Office on previously. Otherwise it will not activate and then you would have to call Microsoft to get an activation sorted out. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.